What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and over the last few days we've been checking out the test server for Rainbow Six Siege. So we're starting off here bringing you some brand new hiding spots that you can use on the new rework of Hereford Base. So without me talking anymore, let's dive in and check out the first one. Taking a look at this first spot guys, this one is located on the first floor in the prep area. Now, this is very simple, you just need to break the red and white container and you can prone and get down inside underneath that little table and actually it covers pretty much half your body so all you can see is your upper body and head and this allows for a great opportunity to get that early kill in the round. So moving on to the second spot guys, this one is located just around the corner in the kitchen. You just need to break that training target so that you can go prone and crawl down under this table. It is the same as the first one, half your body is missing, so this is another really effective spot to use. So moving on to the third spot guys, we're heading down into the basement level of the map into the workshop. Now this one is a little bit tricky, what you need to do is vault up on top of the firewood. Once you're up there you need to go prone and push towards the metal bowl next to the fireplace. Now once you've moved up over the metal bowl you need to keep pushing to your left while moving forward and you'll fall down inside the fireplace and you'll have a great little spot as a lot of people might try to push in towards the basement objectives from the door to the right. Staying down on the basement level, this next spot is located over in the barrel storage room. Now this one is probably one of my personal favorites on the map so far, I've already gotten a number of interrogations from this location. Now all you need to do is break one of the barrels, I choose to get the one on the farthest right as you are least visible from that location. And from there you can watch for any enemies trying to push in from the breaches in the wall to push in towards the basement level objectives. On to the next spot guys and we're moving up onto the second floor inside the sewing room. Now this is a very straightforward one, you just need to vault up on top of the table, walk past the sewing machines, make sure to break that small little fan and prone down inside the corner of the desk. Now make sure your legs are behind you and you are almost invisible in the corner from anyone pushing in through the windows and also for enemies pushing into the sewing room from the main door as the mannequin and the chair is blocking their visibility. Moving on to the final spot we have on this video guys, this one is located in the loom room on the second floor. Now this only works when the secure area objective is located inside of this room. Basically all you need to do here is to vault up on top of the biohazard container and then there's a very specific vault prompt to get on top of that storage container in the corner. Now once you are vaulting up into the air, you need to turn and move to your right and you'll pop down inside this little storage unit. And from there you can actually walk over into the next part of the unit, lay prone and you're almost invisible inside the objective. So that's it for the video today guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Drop down into that comment section and let us know what your favorite hiding spot was. Now a lot of you have been asking and yes, Ace of the Week is coming back, the new video will be tomorrow, so make sure to stick around and check out for that. Now as usual guys, I'll make sure to let you guys know to join up on our social media, Twitter, Instagram and of course our new Discord where all the information on our latest videos will be put and if, you, and if you've anything you'd like to submit to us, joining up on our Discord is the best way to do that, so make sure you get over on that. The links are in the description if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that sub button and the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video and as always see